In this presentation, we will see three examples of workflows operating on iPortal Doc. The first workflow begins with the creation of a document in the system itself thanks to a template, internal information. The second, a workflow which begins with the scanning of a paper invoice, supplier's invoice. And the third example, a workflow that begins with the receipt of an email, a complaint. First of all, we will show you the creation of an internal information process. On the document's hierarchy, we access the internal information folder, select the year, and on the top menu, choose the insert document option. To classify our document, we complete the fields with the required information and then edit the document. Let us now proceed filling the form. And then insert it. Since all actions are assigned to the author, a window with the next action immediately appears. Let's close this window and see further ways of accessing the pending actions. We can then access the pending actions through a shortcut or through email, where we are always notified about the actions we need to perform. By clicking on the Issues Directives about internal information, we can easily open the action window. We must now edit our document. And update it. At this stage, you will send the document for correction, select a user for higher approval, or simply end the process, which is what we've decided to do. Our user has a signature associated. If we access the document, we will see that it was automatically signed. Checking our workflow, we can verify that it is on the last state before it reaches the end. If we go to the chronological scheme, we can see every task that was performed to the document since it was introduced on iPortalDoc. And on the Actions tab, we can see that we have a pending action to perform about the meeting. We take notice of the meeting and we can now end the process we can see that the workflow icon is green. This means that the workflow has reached its final state. This second workflow is going to show you how to handle a supplier invoice received on paper. We have digitized the invoice to a specific email address. This means that the invoice will automatically follow a workflow. The folder structure is automatically created by year, month and day. Here is our invoice that entered automatically into iPortalDoc. As you can see, we have a pending action about the document. We open the link action and proceed with the workflow. These three buttons allows us to have different views of our action. Our first action consists of classifying our invoice. We must fill the rest of the fields according to the invoice's data. We can also insert a comment on the Actions window. Since the next task is also assigned to us, it will immediately appear. The next action is Validate the supplier's invoice. At this stage, we have three options, Validate, Return or Send for new validation. In this case, we're going to validate. At this moment, our document reaches its final state. This means that there are no more pending actions on this document. On the Workflow tab, we can view the workflow in its graphic format and see the steps that the document has passed. On the Chronological Scheme tab, we can see all the details about the document. As you can see, there are no more pending actions to perform. Now, let's look at an example of a complaint entered on iPortalDoc via email. We have received a complaint in our email and we are going to forward it to a specific email address. The email was forwarded and will automatically trigger a workflow. If we access the folder complaints, we can see the email automatically entered on iPortalDoc. Let's associate the request, which was mentioned by the client in the email, to the complaint. 
We click over the document title with the right button and we associate it with search. We search by the name of the document. And here is the order that we are going to associate. If we click on the plus info icon, we can see it's metadata which was automatically filled. And in the associated document, the previously associated request. Let us take this opportunity to answer our client. To notify her that the complaint is being processed. And if we use the tag ref plus the document's code, this email will be automatically associated to the whole process. Here's the email associated to the initial process. If we access the Actions tab, we have a pending action to classify the complaint. The key information is automatically filled by the system, but if we need to, we may modify this information. In this case, we will keep it as it is. We click on change and end our classification action. Since the next action was assigned to me, a window with the following action opens immediately. I write a comment and forward the action to the user who's going to perform the next action. And I immediately receive the next action to take knowledge of the complaint. If I want to, I can consult the documents and emails associated to the process. I can also write a comment so that it can be registered on the process. I select the option Read to end our process. If we consult the document's information, we can see that the documents were associated to the process, the exchanged emails. If we access the workflow tab, we can see it in its graphic format and confirm that it is in its final state. And in the chronological scheme tab, we can find the register of every step through which the document passed. And as we can see, there are no more pending actions to perform.